Yo, what's going on, buddy? It's Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run the fastest blitz in Madden 20. Now, this is going to come to us out of the 3-4 bear formation. Now, I'm in the New York Giants defensive playbook right now, but I will link down below in the comment section uh, a link that to all the playbooks that have this formation and there there's a pretty good amount so chances are if you run a 3-4 playbook this could be in your uh defense so coming out the play is going to be this pinch buck o and as we as you should know if you played madden early in the year pinch buck o out of the 3-4 odd was definitely one of the more the best formations in the game i've ran it before uh, i actually have a video on it as well so it is just a very difficult blitz to stop this one is just going to be and in addition to that one as one of the counterparts to the blitz so like i said three four bear uh next thing you're gonna do is put your fastest guy right here on the outside your fast uh linebackers or linemen uh, obviously you're gonna put linebackers there they're just a little bit faster so uh just the best the fastest guys ebby came here and i'm gonna put dante fowler there as the other fast guy these guys, these other linebackers don't really matter. They're gonna be blitzing anyway. And then obviously, uh, just you, I would recommend putting your user here uh, because in the sense that they max protect, you're gonna be using him and just doing some things. So I put John Johnson there as my user, and then the other guys are just you want good man coverage guys unless you're planning on running a bluff blitz. So I'm just gonna put Coleman there. Nickel Roby Coleman instead of slow Eric Weddle. So just come out in the pinch buck. Oh, I'm going to head into a sort of spread out set. This doubles flex week. And just this flanker spot will work. So obviously against five man. You're already sending six people. You're going to get pressure. So just a very basic setup is going to be base align. Press. And then you're just going to. What I like to do is just move this guy over real quick. And something that needs to be mentioned is that if you are automatically on this linebacker right here before the play starts and then you click off him, usually he's just going to, like that, he's just going to head back, which is what you don't want. So what I would recommend is just coming out here, uh, head into, onto the safety for one play, maybe just run a regular cover three like this, and then you can end up switching into the blitz. So I'm actually just going to have to recall the play because... Uh, it's just not gonna work so just come out in it real quickly our pinch bucko and then come out in the same doubles flex week uh, so like I said baseline press now something you have to do if you're pressed obviously is going to be shade over the top by clicking Y and right stick up so baseline is Y or triangle on the left stick to the right and then the left stick down uh, that's how to baseline press and then over the top like I said because if you don't do over the top You're just gonna get burned over the top by a fast receiver or just a physical receiver uh, So that's just how you run it start and Then all you really have to do is to what I like to do, quarterback contain and then you guys see That linebacker on the right side clay Matthews. I believe or I think it is. I don't know uh, It's actually Ben Hager. I think you're just gonna manually blitz him by clicking the d-pad to the right twice Click on his icon A and then right stick down, which is to blitz. You guys see now we have our seven man blitz right off the bat. And then I can just come out here. Usually I'm just going to use it at the tight end. Uh, even if he does send his receiver on his running back on a route, I can pretty much guard too. You guys will see how fast the pressure gets there. Just hike the ball there. And boom, those D ends or linebackers just come streaming off the edge. And we get two guys on him. Uh, just a very simple play. Obviously, I'll just show you guys again here against the six-man blitz baseline press shade over the top Quarterback contain manually blitz a and then that's pretty much it now I actually do have a different setup to run that I will go over later in the video with the same blitz now Obviously if you want you can do some sort of adjustments. These are probably my favorite adjustments or something like this uh, Works well even against streaks obviously you can shade over the top still but you don't even have to have these guys on the line, especially if you're playing off. You can just move them back by clicking Y, then A, then the receiver, and then back off. And obviously, if I just block my tight end here, hike the ball, it's not going to make a difference. That guy's still going to come screaming off the edge. And no route was actually open on that besides that tight end, but I wasn't even really using there. 
So I'll show you guys with RB blocking now, just baseline press, uh, quarterback contain, manually blitz him, hike the ball right there. And you guys see he's going to come off the edge once again, Dante Fowler now. All right, now obviously you don't have to quarterback contain. It's not a necessary part of the blitz. I can just come out here, run our setup, baseline press, shade over the top. Uh, manually blitz A and then still have success uh, it's pretty much the same animation just B or Dante Fowler gets a little bit different animation but it's not enough to make a difference on the blitz so I just like quarterback containing just it's faster for me but that's just personal preference at the end of the day now I'm gonna head into our main part of the video which is showing how you can destroy a max protect so I'm just gonna max protect on offense right here and in our blitz obviously run our pretty much the same exact setup with one additional step at the end so baseline press manually blitz a quarterback contain now I'm not sure why Fowler loves to not move out but just manually move him out if he doesn't do that I guess and the last thing that you have to do is to just head on to your user right here John Johnson and stand in the gap. I like standing in this gap personally. Uh, in a situation like this, it's gonna be easy for me to engage with the tight end, but you could easily just run it on the left side and engage with the tackle. It honestly doesn't make a difference. So I'm just gonna run straight down once he hikes the ball, hike it, move down, engage, and then I can easily back up and use her with John Johnson right there in the gap. So I'm actually gonna show you guys the instant replay right here. Uh, head into it. You guys see all I have to do with my user is to just engage uh, with uh, Trey Burton right there and I can just back up. So I just touch him. I can back up easily and I'm still able to use the field and we just have a rusher free. Uh, obviously with three routes it shouldn't be very difficult to figure out who you're going to cover. Uh, usually there's just a sideline route, maybe a clear out route. Drags, slants, anything quick over the middle is very easy to get back in user, especially with a quick safety at your user. So I'm going to show you guys one last time here against our seven man protection and then head into uh, our different setup that I have for the split. So max protect on offense, baseline, Y or triangle, left stick to the right, uh, press Y or triangle, left stick down. Quarterback contain, LB and RB, shade over the top, Y or triangle, and right stick up. Move this guy back if he's not already back. Uh, read quarterback, why is he not on the court? Oh, I forgot to blitz, manually blitz A, then quarterback contain, and you guys see, I guess move him in until he's quarterback contain and move him out too far right there, but that's pretty much it. And then user in the gap right there and engage with the, I actually didn't engage with him, but I was still able to make the sack, so that was my bad. It's very easy. I just, it's hard for me to do with two controllers. You guys pretty much get the gist now. I'm going to head into our next setup. It's just going to be something very simple. What I like to do, all you have to do is spread your D line, then spread your linebackers. And then what I like to do is just pinch them and clear the shift by clicking uh, D pad to the right and then LT. It just clears our shift. You guys see now we have Corey Littleton in the gap right there. Instead of Aaron Donald, we're on this side. You guys see Brockers is sort of closer to the middle. And then we have our linebacker. It's just a different look altogether. Just sort of makes it easier. And then makes it easier for me to get into the gap right here. Then all you have to do is to slant your defense to the left. Because if not, Aaron Donald would sort of, and Littleton would create a looping animation. And then obviously you can baseline press, shade over the top, do whatever, quarterback contain. I can come out here, move Fowler out, obviously, on our quarterback contain, then manually blitz A. Pretty much the same thing we've been doing. And then it just allows me to get a better chance using over here, and I can just take the left tackle right there. Uh, I actually didn't max protect there, but you guys pretty much get the gist. It's a very similar blitz and just a different look. Obviously, if your opponent's really paying attention, he's going to see, oh, why is the linebacker in the gap right there? Uh, maybe he's, is this a tell? Is he playing coverage now instead of blitzing? No, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's just a different look. And I just thought it was a sort of unique thing that I found when uh, labbing this blitz in online and just in the practice mode right here. So once again, the setup for that is just going to be spread your D-line, D-pad to the left and left stick up. Spread your linebackers, D-pad to the right and left stick up. And then 
clear the shift by clicking the D-pad to the right and left trigger or L2. Then just manually blitz A. You already know how to do that. Contain, baseline press, do whatever you want in the secondary. Do something like this. Move Fowler back if you want. Uh, he's not in the contain. Why is he not in the contain? There he is. All right. And then just slant to the left by clicking D-pad to the left and right stick to the left. And then obviously I can just engage with anybody right here. Yes, see, I engage with the center, and we get three people free, actually. Obviously, if it was a max protect, we would have had someone free anyway. So that's going to go ahead and do it for the video today. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like on the video. Show your support to the channel, and i also leave some suggestions down below in the comment section on future videos you would like to see on my channel. And peace. I'm out of here.